we're open for business. And by business, I mean creating AI portraits of strangers, since these tools are now able to completely transform our reality. And can I get you smiling? See, here's what Jordan looked like when I took his photo. And here's that shot with some AI magic. And here's Renee. I'm not very photogenic. That's okay. And Genevieve. AI photo editing and generating tools like Adobe Firefly, Midjourney, and Try It On can give people appearances, features, and characteristics that, well, aren't real. It's getting pretty darn good, too, other than some deformed hands and extra teeth. This has like a weird eye here. <laughs> so yes, I set up shop here to see if I could make people's photo dreams come true with just some AI tools. Anyone? So cool right now, AI. Everyone's talking about it. Test one, AI headshots. Turns out a lot of people want some free professional shots for their... What's going on the LinkedIn? I might have a new LinkedIn photo. So instead of hiring a professional photographer, makeup, hair, and a stylist, these folks stepped into my very professional photo studio. Thanks. Get my lens clean a little bit here. You're very upset, you hate me. Perfect, smize. I don't know what that is. Smiling with your eyes. And I used a generative AI headshot tool called Try It On. Here's how it works. You upload 10 or more photos to Try It On's website. In this case, I'm using Jordan's photos. And then you select the types of shots you'd like. Business office, business studio, business outdoors, so much business. The photos are then used to train an AI model. That model learns what you look like the size of your eyes, your nose, your other facial attributes. Then, once it learns it, it looks at a library of images it already has learned from and says, this is what Jordan looks like in a blue suit or in a navy suit. For $17, you get 100 images. For every batch, I found that there were around five to seven images that really looked like the subject. That's incredible. AI is real. That's nice. Yeah. Very mysterious. Huh? Others were just hilariously bad. Those teeth are a little creepy there. Those teeth are a lot of teeth. That's a lot. Might be more than humanly possible to have. Test two, AI extreme makeover. I would be the pretty witch. Harry Potter? CNN's top anchor. Okay, yeah, sometimes people really want to bend reality. And with a tool like Midjourney, real photo portraits can go from this to this. Unfortunately, for people who want that kind of result, Midjourney is a bit complicated. It runs through Discord, a popular chat app. After you've signed up, you type in a prompt describing the image you want. My producer, Kenny, has become a pro at this. In these cases, Kenny used a two-step process. First, he created the scenes that people wanted to be in. Then he used a mid-journey tool called Insight Face Swap to get the subject's faces into the images. All right, ready? Ready. Well, this is what future me is going to look like. Amazing. The big reveal. Yes. The big reveal. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> now, now this one I like. I look like a true wizard. Test three, AI editing. Sometimes people just want something very specific. So what kind of photo would you like today? I would like a photo of myself professionally in a white coat. Why a white coat? So I'm a doctor and we obviously take headshots whenever we go to a new hospital and I want to see if this one can beat my real one. So we took a few photos of Joe and plugged the best one into Adobe's new Firefly Generative Fill Tool. I clicked the background button and replaced it with an AI-generated image of a library. Then I erased his outfit and told it to generate a white doctor's coat. Okay, so he sorta looks like a doctor from a board game, but maybe it could pass as his new profile photo. These sorts of changes were once the stuff of Photoshop masters. But now with AI, it's so simple. With Magic Eraser integrated into Google Photos, you can quickly remove things in the background. And with FaceApp, you can change hair color, add facial expressions, or glasses. So what did we learn here today? Well, that photography will never be the same. Yes, these tools are fun, but they can also be not so fun. What about real photographers and artists? I was able to set up shop here with just some basic tech tools and make some compelling art. Then how will we know the real from the fake, especially with photos of people in compromising situations? 
One sign of hope, when I saved this photo in Adobe Firefly, it baked in information to the file about how it was created with AI. Adobe is hoping media, tech, and social media platforms will make it easy to see that information. Until then, good luck telling the real from the AI, especially on LinkedIn. You could be helped by AI. Just joking, you're a natural beauty.